Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up some ice stub shiners. Uh, in the vise there I have a more of a golden shiner. Here I'll bring in another one here, a little more of a chub or a shiner to be more of the olive. And uh, dressed a little thicker of course, basically the same style. So really depends on the minnows that are in your water body and uh, very very effective way to fish. Uh, lakes, streams, salt water, bait fish live everywhere and I mean uh, I love fishing streamer patterns, I really do. Here's a nice little pattern here that'll that'll trick a lot of fish and uh, put some really light, large, thick shouldered fish in the net for you. So let's go over the, some of the materials we need to tie this fly. We start with the Tamco 811S. This is size 6. This night's nice, uh, saltwater hook, I can use it salt or fresh. I take these and cross them over in my box. Basically the body is uh, going to be a pearlescent, large pearlescent flashaboo. The underbody I'm going to use some single strand hot pink floss. Then for the main body I'm going to be using Iced up. We're going to use pearl, UV pearl. As you can see here, in the mid, I'm going to use some holographic olive. <clears throat> I might throw a little holographic gold on top. A little accent over the top. We can always add a little bit of uh, the back. This is a really nice color, kind of a grayish color back. I'm going to put that on. You can use any kind of angel hair. It comes in all kinds of colors. Makes really nice back. For the lateral lines you can put an accent in there. Another real good one is uh, Polar Flash Mir uh, Mirage, the opal. is a very very good color for lateral lines. You can throw in a little color. This is a diamond wing fiber. You can put just a wee little bit of that in the side if you want to had a lateral line in your fly, so so many different colors. Uh, keep it kind of basic. You can play around with it. It's a pretty easy fly to tie. Um, they're a great fly to fish. I, I really enjoy fishing streamers. And then I'll show you there's some other opportunities. And there's and there's lots more products out there now all the time. But this ice wing is is a is a longer material and comes in all colors too. So you can you can make whatever you want for um, longer and larger flies and we'll do some of those a little later but uh, let's go today an olive shiner is pretty uh, pretty common over here uh, where I am in Alberta, uh, British Columbia and we do see some uh, some bronze backs or some golden shiners too so make sure you have variety of colors with you get a hook in the vise and uh, we'll get to it I didn't pinch the barbs yet, but I always pinch the barbs on all my hooks before or when I'm tying on. The thread, I'm going to use some 6 aught or this 70 denier um, UTC thread. It's a, it's a thin, I'll just let me get it organized. Here we go on my bobbin. It's a very thin, strong thread. I'm going to dress the hook. I'm going to come in the rear here with some of this pearl. I'm using white, kind of the whiter pearl, whatever you have, but white is nice, very nice. And I'm just going to lash that on right to the bend, leave that out to the back. And then we'll uh, just whip finish that off right behind the eye. I'm going to take this thread away for now. Come back in with it to finish up in a minute. Come in with a hot pink. This is single floss. And I'm going to do the front part of the body. And I'm laying it nice and flat here. And I'm going to build a bit of a taper to the front. And I'll tie it right off. This is kind of a compilation of some different fly patterns I've seen out there. And you know, really, 
that's what flies are is just some ideas from here and there and you kind of mix and mosh them together and try what works. Uh, here's a here's a fly that I, I, I there's a few things I liked in different patterns I've seen. I incorporated it all in one and it looks good and it works well too. So we're just going to, uh, I'll go to thread post here. You can hand over hand this if you want with your regular vices. I'm just going to pull this flashaboo, this pearl flashaboo over the front here fairly snug and make sure that's tied down good. That is beautiful in the water and that gets wet. That really looks good. Okay, so now let's bring in our ice tub. And usually for the bottom, top I like to go with more of a kind of a pearl. You can mix it up however you like. Bring these soft silky fibers in and kind of roll them together here a little bit. You get a bit of taper. There you go. Now this I'm going to roll into the bottom. So I'm going to roll into the top. Let's come through the to the eye there. I'm going to make sure you get it around the shank on both sides quite nicely. That looks pretty good. And I keep stroking these fibers back, just make sure I'm getting the profile as I build. I don't want it too much on the bottom. I want that hot pink to show through in the bottom. Okay, then we want to dress up the middle a little bit. Let's put in a nice lateral line in this fly. I'm going to just come in here with some of this opal polar flash. Great product. I like this. We're going to bring some of that in on a really nice streamer later. I'm going to show you something really good from friend of mine in Florida. Okay, and then we tie this along each side for a lateral line. Probably don't see it as much here as you will when it gets wet. Definitely there in the fish pickup one. It's got some kind of greenish hue to it and whatever. It's very, very nice. Now we can come in a little bit if you want to brighten that up. This UV Ice Pearl. This pearl really does a great job if you're trying to do like a glass minnow or something like that. So here I've got pretty short fibers. I'm going to tie a little bit less to the back. I'm just going to pinch it down there. And we're not we're not tying it down quite yet. I'm not really too worried about that right now. I got to add some more materials. There, that's that's coming together a little better. I'm going to get more of my shape there in a minute. There we go. Now we'll come in with some holographic olive. Roll that again. You should see a taper. Tie that right behind the eye. Just so it's it's catching and right behind the eye. Got a bit of a taper going there. Yep, pretty good. It's a little thicker than my mother style where I kind of come in a little little thinner. You make sure you check those minnows out. You check see where you're fishing and try to match them up and that would that'll knock them dead anywhere and <laughs> that'll work great in the backcountry in Florida too. They can see that one a long, long way. That's a good flow of fly. Don't always need big big flies to catch big fish. If you want to match size your, your minnows that are in your water bodies and a lot of these lakes have that hold big trout or minnow lakes and we don't fish enough minnow patterns. Okay so that looks pretty good right there. I'm just going to bring in some some of my uh, other kind of a wing flash here. This is a really nice color like I was telling you before. I'm going to uh, put a little over the top catch it in the back and just tease it tease it back with my scissors. I'm not cutting it, I'm just feathering it out. And there you go. 
I'm just going to take my, this is very thin, this is UTC, it's a 70 denier, but it's flat thread. I'm putting a very small head on that. Okay, and now we're going to come in and, that gives it a really nice back to it, doesn't it? And then also the lateral lines are showing up. This is going to look pretty cool in the water. And the fish will like to eat this one, I know they will. Come in here, we're going to bring in, we have different eyes too, I forgot to tell you about the eyes. We have prism, I like to use these prism type eyes. And uh, you can use stick on, but these, these are much nicer uh, bait patterns, bait fish patterns. The eye is critical in my opinion. Uh, they target that. So I'm going to come in here with our silver. I'm going to come back where I feel the eye should belong is right in the middle there. I'm not going to put it on the thread. I'm going to put it on my right on the fly pattern right there. Smaller flies I just use some resin. I'm using some UV. This is solar res. Might have to give it a couple coats because I'm using the bone. This is quite thin. Bring in our UV light. Let's cook that on there. That'll set that eye up. Your thread. All done. Look at that nice underbelly there. Oh, that's going to show up in the water. That is a great little pattern right there. So there's an olive shiner for you. It's an uh, ice stub shiners. Chubs, you change the shape of your flies, the colorations. You can match any of the bait fish out there. You can use some attractor colors. Um, like I said, the, there's so many, many colors I could, I could talk about them all day, but in my box I'll have, you know, even some more sub, subdue patterns. It's nice little Here's, here's a little one with a little more just gray in it. A little glass minnow here. And it, it's a little fuzzy right here, but that gets wet. And that just goes right down. That looks really good in the water for glass minnows. And like say the golden shiners. There you go, something like that would work quite well for you too. When I'm going to the lakes, I've got lots of shiners with me. I always have a box. I carry great support. Great supply of bait fish flies. I don't know if you see them all in there, but it's something you definitely don't want to be short of. Become a streamer fisherman, it's hard to go back. So, all the best. You can use this on some lakes and rivers. Don't forget the rivers. We'll strip that back. And uh, big rainbows are in there too, or brown trout, cutthroats, you name it, they'll eat it. You have a good time tying this one. I hope to see you back at some of our next videos. Thanks for watching. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.